Welcome to Automation Training Hub. In this video, we are going to see in SCADA software how to configure trend. So trend is nothing but just a graph. Suppose uh, the process what you are doing, you want to monitor in terms of a graph. Uh, that uh, name only they call it as trend. So we have two type of trend in SCADA. One is called as a real-time trend, another one is historic trend. So real-time trend means we can able to monitor the current data. So what is happening in the field, we can watch as a graph. For example, right now, I'll just take one slider and I'll give the tag name as A. Okay, so in this, uh, I'm just setting the ranges as 0 to 100. So if you want to see the value now, so for the text, we use it. In that user input, we can give the tag name. And we'll assume uh, this shape as a tank. So in this, in vertical, we have to give the tag name. So right now, the process has been done. So now, I want to see not only as a value, as a graph also. So for that, in wizard, we have trend in that 16 pin trend. So in the name itself, you can see 16 pin. So that means in this single chart, we can able to add sing, uh, 16 tag names. We can add it in a single chart. So that's why the name has been given us 16 pin trend. You can see the name 16 pin trend. So when I double click this chart, you can able to see also so it's asking 16 different tag names so right now i'm going to use only one so i'm using the first one so when i double click this one it will ask us to select the tag name in the list so our uh, tag name is showing in the last so select it give okay so once you give okay you can see the tag name has been given and you can see the minimum and maximum eu has been given so which we defined in the when we creating the tag name itself. So right now in this, you can see it's showing enable at runtime configuration. So if we select this one now at runtime, we can do the changes. For example, I'm not giving this, then see what happens. We'll just go to runtime. So when I vary the value you can see it's showing as a graph but you can see it's uh, taking like uh, two seconds time to update the chart it is not updating fastly suppose right now this update rate if i want to change it now right now it won't allow you can see if i select the chart also it's not doing anything but if you given enabled runtime now at runtime i can able to change these datas When I select the chart, you can see. So it's opening, it's showing all the things. So update rate, they given us two. So right now, I'll just give it as uh, zero. So whatever changes you do, immediately it will update. But remember, the length of your chart is what the x-axis is, just 60 seconds. Suppose if you want to watch uh, more than uh, 60 seconds, then you have to type it in here. If you say two minutes now, we have to type as 120. Then the length of the chart has been changed to 120 seconds. That is two minutes. But if the two minutes data has been passed, then if you want to see now, it is not possible because in a real time trend, we can able to see the current data, present values we can see. So if you say, I want to see the past data, Maybe sometime later, I want to check it. So it is not possible in real-time trend. So for that only, we have another one chart. We call it as historical trend. So for that, you can see in wizard, in trend itself, we have historical trend. So select this one, place it in here. So for this, we have to select another two things. Uh, that is trend zoom panel. 
so we can zoom your chart and we can able to see and to see the values everything they using the trend pen legend so when you're doing historical trend what you do is you just close the window viewer window runtime window because in your chart when i double click you can see pen in that only we have to give the tag name but you can see so it is not allowing so while the window viewer window is open it won't allow so what we have to do is close this one then in pen you can see it is allow but when i double click it's not showing our tag name because right now since we want to see the past data we have to do some changes in your tag name so when i double click the slider you can see the tag name as a when you double click that one it will open the window tag name dictionary window in that you have to give log data so by giving log data only your graph will accept what the past data it will store it will show us so since i given log data right now if you double click the chart in the pens when i double click in here it will display your tag name so just give okay okay so right now what we have to do is you can see we have three things in here chart zoom panel and pen legend so we have to create a link between them so for that only it's asking any other name so no need to type any name what you do is just press suggest once so it will generate the name so when you give okay after that in zoom panel same searches so you can see the same name will come so that name act like a link between all the three so you can see the is trend same name it's showing so in here also searches that's it so once you are given this then what we have to do is in configure we have historical logging because right now the past data your scara software will record but it won't display in the chart we can't able to see why now in historical logging we have to give enable historical logging then only it will display so just give a tick mark in here give okay so in configure historical logging we have to give enable historical logging then go to run time so now right now we are doing some changes then give zoom out you can see you can see in here the scale has been given you can select the timing which you want to see then zoom in again zoom in <laughs> so when you move this one you can see in the pen legend it's showing the value as 0 so in that current time what value <coughs> we can able to check like this so if you do any changes now it won't update what you have to do each time we have to give zoom out then only that changes will take place so past data also we can take and we can able to see so this is the working of historical trend so i hope you understood uh, what is mean by trend and the types of trend we have two types of trend we have real time trend historical trend so in a real time trend we can able to see the current data past data we can't able to see so for that only we have historical so in historical trend we can able to see the current plus past thank you